at Maracanes Open Slash of Guns N' Roses. That sounds real good. There's a, I understand you paid a visit to a snake farm in Sao Paulo the other day. Did you get any snakes? 55,000 dead snakes. Dead? <laughs> 90 years worth of snakes sitting in jars and formaldehyde. Did you pick up really? any specimens? Or? Huh? No, I didn't pick. I, what it is is it's sort of like a, a research center. And because uh, I think, what it, well, because of the, the biggest snake fauna uh, in the whole world is in South America. So Do you have I to mean, ask about snakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does this go on for a long time. They have more anacondas than I've ever seen. It was sick. Well, that's sick that'll be the snake question for tonight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you make of the audiences down here? They seem to be like crazy cocoa bananas. Are they more demonstrative than other? I I think they probably save up for like five years or something for a ticket. It appears to me. I mean, because they go bananas over that we play that we didn't even no bananas Stop. Brazil. <laughs> These connections to make this kind of talk special, I think. Did I say bananas? Yeah. I did? No. Do you get to, have you, you've been sitting here, you're doing two shows here. You've been spending a lot of time kind of sitting around. Seen anything interesting in Rio? Uh, um, well, I went to that snake thing, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, we know. What about you, Doug? No, the gig. You haven't been to the beach or anything? No, nope. We haven't really. You know, everybody always says that. It's like, well, now that you're in Brazil, what do you think of this and this and this and this? All I know is what the airport looks like. And then there's some scenery, and then the hotel. And then from the hotel to the gig. Room service. <laughs> How is room service? Different uh, monetary thing on the right. Have you gotten to listen to any of the music down here? I mean, the samba stuff, or there's yeah. some wild sounds. Yeah, there. Outside of the hotel. <laughs> um, no, we, actually, I take it back. It's gorgeous here. When we first got here, it was sort of miserable because it was raining. Yeah. I'm just putting it on the floor. Um, it was raining and, and all that. So. And it was really overcast, and for some reason, it being overcast here changes the whole personality of the place. As soon as the sun came out, it was gorgeous. So we went out and we got sun, and you know, just basically hung out. With, we have a lot of friends here, that you know, because of all these bands and stuff. So we just hang out with crew guys and so on, and we get a pretty good idea of the scenery and what goes on there, because there's a mountain right by the uh, yeah. hotel, like and, and we're right on the rich people. We're right, right on the now. beach as well. So just give them back on stage again, make you want to get out there and start playing for yeah. a, a year and a half. Or can you tell? Uh, and that's sort of... We'll be seeing you soon. Well, we hope we will. We won't even ask that question. We hope we will. Okay, it's coming your way. That's it for now. We'll be back with another report real soon here on MTV. Oh. I'm backstage here at Maracana Stadium with Duff and Slash of Guns N' Roses, who I think are the big hit of the event, if I'm not mistaken. This is the very same one, too. How does it, how does it feel to be played? <laughs> How does it feel to be playing your first gig since like last spring in front of like, 200,000 people? Does it make you nervous? Yeah. Real nervous? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, everybody's like jazz. We had a we had a great time. The band. One of the nicest things was we did the gig the other night and we all got in the dressing room and it was almost like a football team without a coach. <laughs> and. Uh, sort of like all hung out for a little while and, and went out and, and had a, I mean, for, for what it was, you know, we didn't have a set list or anything, we just threw it all together. And drummer, drummer. Drummer. Keyboard player, neither of them ever playing on stage with us before. It's like, you know, they have no idea how our formula is, right, which is like non-formula. So we're looking at Matt going, play. He's like, what song? Uh, okay. You know, you know. It was, solo. Yeah, do a drum solo. <laughs> Matt's working out well, right? Yeah, that's great. If anybody can do it. So, yeah, we're all jazz. What kind of stuff are you playing here? What kind of stuff are we like playing? Your greatest hits, covers, any surprises? Whatever. We have a we have a pick list, all the songs that we know. A little piece of paper on in front of the stage, and we just sort of like pick them at random. New songs. We played sweet new songs. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did. Yeah, we play like uh, like Jungle and Sweet Child, yeah. but I mean, half of it is new material. Yeah. People just kind of stare at us. We opened with a new song. Does it sound as good when you when you do it as you thought it would? To us. To us. I mean, well, we know, you know the song. We, um, the record, um, Duff and Izzy and Matt and I, when we went, before we went into pre-production, we went to rehearsal and we worked all the songs out in a more or less live kind of a feel. So what happens now is we're, it's down to basics again, where it's like doing basic tracks. Cool. So it's whatever we did on basic tracks is what you're basically hearing out there. Could you give us some outro music, maybe a, a fast power chord or something? Because I think we're done. Back to, <laughs> we'll be back with more reports from Rock in Rio real soon. Keep watching MTV.